Hello and welcome back to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas and had a reflective new year. We are now in 2014 and although that may just be a number change to some, to me I believe it's a great opportunity to reflect on the past year and think about proving things for this year. We start the year with Deuteronomy, which is actually three sermons that were given by Moses in the last days of his life. With this in mind, I will be reducing these videos with just reading the scriptures and hopefully I may be able to present you with a feel of how they may have sounded if the writer would have had access to YouTube. So starting with chapter 1, let us open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they come to better understanding of you. Amen. These are the words which Moses spoke to all Israel beyond the Jordan in the wilderness, in the Arabah, over against Suf, between Paran, Tophel, Laban, Azov, and Dezahab. It is eleven days' journey from Horeb, by the way of Mount Sir, to Gadash Barnea. In the fortieth year, in the eleventh month, on the first day of the month, Moses spoke to the children of Israel, according to all that Yahweh had given him in commandments to them. As he had struck, Shihon, the king of the Amorites, who lived in Aspon, and Og, the king of Bashan, who lived in Nazareth, at Edri, beyond the Jordan, in the land of Moab, Moses began to declare this law, saying, Yahweh our God spoke to us in Horeb, saying, You have lived long enough at this mountain. Turn and take your journey, and go to the hill country of the Amorites, and to all the places near there, in the Arabah, in the hill country, and in the lowland and in the south, and by the seashore, the land of the Canaanites and Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Euphrates. Look, I have set the land before you. Go in and possess the land, which you always swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give to them, and to their offspring after them. I spoke to you at that time, saying, I am not able to bear you myself alone. Yahweh your God has multiplied you. And look, you are today as the stars of the skies for a multitude. Yahweh, the God of your fathers, make you a thousand times as many as you are, and bless you as he has promised you. How can I myself alone bear your problems, your burdens, and your strife? Take wise men of understanding, and well known according to your tribes, and I will make their heads over you. You answered and said, The thing which you have spoken is good to do. So I took the heads of your tribes, wise men, and known, made them heads over you, captains of thousands, and captains of hundreds, and captains of fifties, and captains of tens, and officers according to your tribes. I commanded your judges at that time, saying, Hear cases between your brothers, and judge righteously between a man and his brother, and the foreigner who is living with him. You shall not show partiality in judgment. You shall hear the small and the great alike. You shall not be afraid of the face of man, for the judgment is God's. The case is too hard for you. You shall bring to me, and I will hear it. I commanded you at that time the things which you should do. You shall from her up, and went through all the great and terrible wilderness which you saw, by the way of the hill country of the Amorites, as you are where our God commanded us. And we came to Kadesh Barnei. I said to you, You have come to the hill country of the Amorites, which our way our God gives to us. Look, Yahweh your God has set the land before you. Go up, take possession, as Yahweh the God of your fathers has spoken to you. Don't be afraid, neither be dismayed. You came near to me, every one of you, and said, Let us send men before us, that they may search the land for us, and bring us word again of the way by which we must go up, and the cities to which we shall come. The thing pleased me well. I took twelve men of you, one man for every tribe. They turned and went up into the hill country, and came to the valley of Ashkel, and spied it out. They took some of the fruit of the land in their hands, and brought it down to us, and brought us word again, and said, This is a good land which Yahweh our God gives to us. Yet you wouldn't go up, but we rebelled against the commandment of Yahweh your God. You murmured in your tents, and said, Because Yahweh hated us, he has brought us out of the land of Egypt, 
deliver us into the hand of the Amorites to destroy us. Where are we going up? Our brothers have made a heart melt, saying, The people are great and taller than we. The cities are great and fortified up to the sky. Moreover, we saw the sons, the Anakim, there. Then I said to you, Don't try it. Neither be afraid of them. Yahweh your God, who goes up before you, he will fight for you, according to all that he did for you in Egypt, before your eyes, and in the wilderness, where you have seen how Yahweh your God bore you, as a man does bear his son, and all the way that you went, until you came to this place. It's in this thing you didn't believe Yahweh your God, who went before you, on the way to seek out a place for you to pitch your tents in, in fire by night, to show you by the way you should go, and in the cloud by day. Yahweh heard the voice of your words, and was angry, and swore, saying, Surely not one of these men of this evil generation shall see the good land which I swore to give to your fathers, except Caleb the son of Judah and her. He shall see it. I will give the land that he has trodden on to him, and his children, because he has wholly followed Yahweh. Also, Yahweh was angry with me for your sake, saying, You also shall not go in there. Joshua the son of Nun, who stands before you, shall go in there. Encourage him, for he shall cause Israel to inherit it. Moreover, your little ones, whom you shed, should be captured or killed, and your children, who today have no knowledge of good or evil, they shall go in there, and I will give it to them, and they shall possess it. But as for you, turn, and take your journey into the wilderness, by the way, to the amps of then you answered and said to me, We have sinned against Yahweh. We will go up and fight, according to all that Yahweh our God commanded us. Every man of you puts on his weapons of war, and presume to go up into the hill country. Yahweh said to me, Tell them, do not go up, neither fight, for I am not among you, in case you be struck before your enemies. So I spoke to you, and you didn't listen. But you rebelled against the commandment of Yahweh, and were presumptuous, and went up into the hill country. The Amorites who lived in that hill country came out against you, and chased you as bees do, and beat you down the sea, even to Hamar. You turned and went before Yahweh. Yahweh didn't listen to your voice, nor turn his ear to you. So you stayed in Kadesh many days according to the days that you remained.